Gemini 3 is a really, really good model. We were able to create things like voxel art generators, ray tracing simulators, golf swing analyzers, orbital simulations, and a custom Monopoly board game generator. Let me show you. So we took the voxel art generator provided by the Gemini team at launch and we made it our own. So we continued the chat. Can we rebuild this? But it's procedurally generated robots as voxels each time. We had to go back and forth just a couple times to get it right. But now check this out. We have a beautifully generated voxel art robot generator thing. And of course, you can scrap it and get that amazing physics simulation. Reassemble it into new random robot. And there we go. And let's scrap it again. Check this out. You can reassemble it and you can make it into basically anything. So into custom and then let's say retro Polaroid camera. I don't think I got the colors right, but it kind of looks like a Polaroid camera. I, I like that you can also see the shadow on the ground. And if I scrap it, it shatters and it's such a satisfying animation. So we could do new random robot. So there's one. Scrap it, reassemble, new random robot, and there it is. Up here are your blueprints. You can import JSON with the blueprint. You can generate a new robot, or you can ask Gemini to build something custom. Over here, we have a play and pause button for the spinning animation, and then you can also export the JSON of this voxel. Look at that, beautiful. Here's another one, let's scrap it, reassemble into new random robot. Now, each time you do it, it's gonna keep the same colors as the previous time. So if you just refresh the page, then you get new colors like so. And there we go, a new robot with new colors. And by the way, I'm gonna drop all of the links to these that are shareable down below in the description. And by the way, if you wanna learn how my team was able to create these incredible demos, definitely download our free Humanities Last Prompt Engineering Guide updated special edition for Gemini 3. I will drop a link to that in the description below. You just need to sign up for our newsletter and you can download it for free. Go get it right now. Next is a ray tracing demo. Here's the prompt we used. I want to create an app that showcases 3D ray tracing of of metal textures. I want to create basically a walkthrough house of mirrors where you can move the camera slowly through the house of mirrors and it shows a voxel man in high definition. Make the voxels look really good so you can see the voxels in the mirrors. All right, let's stop there. Let's see what it built. All right, so here it is. You can see the ray tracing in action. You can see the reflection in the mirror right there. You can see the little metallic pieces floating around. There's the voxel man in the middle. There's some artifacts as you can see there, but the reflections really work well. The light is definitely bouncing around the room and it's running decently well in my browser. So look at this, we can move all around the room. As we're moving around the room, we can actually see the reflections. Now these lights look like they should be coming from right around here, they're the three. And look, it's definitely not perfect, but I think it's really good. Look at this, look at the side of this reflective wall right here. And as you move, you can actually see the lights reflecting on the two surfaces correctly. Look at these little shapes floating around. And as they're floating, you can see the light reflecting off of them. Next, there's so much talk about AI bubbles. We actually had Gemini create an AI bubble and research storyboard. Check this out. First, let me show you the prompt. You are a macroeconomist trying to inform the masses. We are going to do deep, deep research on what financial bubbles are, the ones that have popped in the past. We want to understand differences between speculative bubbles and bubbles with lasting infrastructure. What leads to bubbles causing permanent harm versus realignments that create more value than bubbles did damage fiber of and we give some examples and please gather all the necessary info understanding the data we need to complete our work including any analytics we need to conduct okay so let's take a look now. So first we have an intro interactive macroeconomic analysis of the AI boom. Here we go capex 2025 405 billion up 42%. NVIDIA margin, 76% abnormal energy use phase euphoria. All right, let's look at history echo. So here's NVIDIA 2025 and Cisco in 2000. Oh boy. All right, here are the Minsky cycles from hedge to Ponzi units. Then we actually have a bubble simulator game built into this website. So here we can play around with it. We could say build infra minus 25 million. The chart updates automatically, turn two. Let's say we raise some money, 
Let's say we raise some more money. We need to hire, of course. So here's a few 10 millions, easy peasy. We're gonna acquire a company or two. Here we are, the hype grows, the risk valuation cap increases, but no, we're going to raise some more money. Uh-oh, we're at 100% and demo day bubble popped. So here it's kind of a fun little AI bubble simulator game. Here we can see the ROI gap. So in red is the CapEx, green is revenue. We definitely want revenue to surpass CapEx, but of course it's very early days, so that's not happening yet. We have energy, standard search, 0.3 watt hours, AI generation, 2.9 watt hours, and verdict, productive bubble. Infrastructure survives, speculators die. Banks safe, stocks at risk, tech boom. That is AI's own assessment of the AI bubble risk. All done very simply with Gemini 3. And if you wanna take the power of Gemini 3 and other frontier models and automate your business, check out the sponsor of today's video, Zapier. Zapier just launched Unified Copilot and it makes it dead simple to automate your entire workflows. The Zapier UI is already easy, but they went ahead and made it even more simple by allowing a conversational interface to just describe the automation you want built and it does it for you. So just type in what you want and Copilot creates it for you across zaps, tables, interfaces, and agents all at once. Copilot understands the context across your entire Zapier stack. Plus they added human in the loop so you can make sure that you're checking in at the vital points of your workflow creation. Zapier also rolled out 30 plus new integrations, including Perplexity, Mistral, and Cursor. So with over 8,000 apps and integrations, enterprise-grade security, and fully managed hosting, Zapier makes AI automation accessible to everybody. And by the way, if you want to use this workflow or other workflows that we have created, I'm going to link it down below directly to Zapier. You just click the link and it'll set it up in your account. So check out Unified Copilot. Thanks in advance. Now back to the video. All right, next, back to voxels. We just love voxels so much. Let's take a look at this. This is an image to voxel assets. So here's this little cat image, which you can see here, and it converted it into this 3D voxel thing that I can play around with and manipulate. Very cool. Here's a cat with a little jetpack. Here's another one. I think this is a cherry tree on a floating island, and I just think this looks so beautiful. Look at that. And then here's another one. Very cool. And then you can also upload your own images. So here's a very famous Muhammad Ali photo. Let's generate assets. So here's the prompt that it's using to ping Gemini to generate the actual voxel art. So I have provided you an image. You're an expert 3D voxel artist for video games. Your task is to generate three distinct high resolution voxel assets based on this character object. And we define the different poses, the output formats, and the core requirements for each file. This takes a little while, maybe about 30 seconds. And then this generates you 3D voxel art based on the image that you provide. So Gemini takes this image, analyzes it. Remember, it's not that simple to just take an image, a flat 2D image, and then convert it into 3D voxel art. You have to actually determine which part of the image you're going to take and what are you going to represent with voxel art. So check this out. Kind of simplistic, but I think it's actually really cool. So you could see Muhammad Ali right there. Here's another version and the third version. And of course you can download any of these in GLB. All right, next let's build a simulator for a large particle collider. I want to build a super aesthetic pleasing simulator for a large particle collider complete with real physics sims. The idea is to demonstrate to someone what it's doing, but to make it super exciting with particle effects, etc., that adhere to your understanding of physics, maybe some kind of plasma sim for tokamax or something. All right, and here it is. So we have a tokamak and a collider, two different ones, and we can actually see simulations of these. Obviously it runs very slowly in my browser, but that's because it's doing a lot of calculation. Now on the right side, we have the AI analytics terminal, but we actually ran out of API call quota. And so before it would go back and forth and actually tell you what's going on and analyze it and give you an analysis. And it was really interesting, but right now it just says connection to the AI core is unstable. All right, next we have a power of 10 animator using Nano Banana. Check this out. So make a power of 10 animation with Nano Banana and it created it. Let me just show you what it looks like because it's hard to explain. So here we see the solar system. We see the size scale over here. And if we forward the timeline, we go in, there's Earth. 
we continue going into Earth. I don't know why there's a hand there. We have a hand holding what looks to be a cell. And then we go into the cell and so on and so forth, all the way down to the smallest unit, subatomic scale. So definitely far from perfect, but it's actually prompting Nano Banana to create multiple images on this time scale and then putting them all together in a really seamless way. And you can select what you want to actually show. So we have universe to atom, human to DNA, data center to silicon, satellite to street view. Let's try that one. And of course you can also do something custom. So here we go, calculate and generate parameters. It just takes a minute. Okay, after just about 30 seconds, we can start it. Here we go. Earth, zooming in the United States. I don't know where that is. Here's a city and all the way into the city, down to a single building. Here's a single street and a storefront. So again, like not exactly perfect, but fun to play around with. All right, next we're gonna build a gravity simulator and this is really cool. So interactive and body gravity simulation, build a fully working physics accurate simulation of a solar system style environment where objects follow Newtonian gravity. The simulation must allow users to dynamically add new planets or moons, specifying properties like mass, radius, initial velocity, and position. When new bodies are added, the system should automatically recalculate and update all gravitational interactions so orbital paths evolve realistically based on mass proximity and initial conditions. So here it is, physics accurate. And you can see they're all going around the star in the center. We have a bunch of different settings. Obviously, you can pause and resume. And if we just click and drag, we can add different entities and see how it's going to react to gravity. Actually, this one just collided with another planet and combined with it. Let's try that again. I'll do it where it goes right next to the star in the center. And there we go. And that's going to affect all the other planets and stars orbiting as well. We can also go ahead and click this to add a rogue star. There it goes. Let's do it again. So you could see how it kind of adjusted its trajectory as it got closer to the star in the center. We can do different things like a black hole instead. And we can see obviously the black hole is gonna suck in everything in this solar system. I'm adding a planet, it's gonna go by the black hole and of course it just gets sucked right in. Here, now this star seems to be orbiting the black hole and eventually it should fall into it. We could do a pulsar nova, we can do Terra life, meaning basically a bunch of Earth-like planets, and then finally it explodes. So a lot of fun things that you can play around with here. All right, next we're going to build a golf swing analyzer. And so you upload a video of your golf swing and it will analyze it and give you a bunch of information, a bunch of tips. Here's the prompt. Allow me to take a video of a golf swing and video and or the model to do segmentation on the video, then deep analysis of the golf swing, and then give suggestions on what the golfer can do to improve and how it may impact their game. Also draw a comparison to other pro golfers and their swings and images of those golfers to click on and see a comparison. So here's what it came up with. Swingpro.ai will select a video. Okay, uploading somebody's golf swing. This is not me. Here's the video. Okay, pretty nice golf swing. Start deep analysis. So analyzing swing. So it says connecting to Gemini 3 Pro preview, then ingesting video frame data. And remember, because it's Gemini, it will actually ingest frame by frame, which is a huge differentiation to any other model in the market. Gemini can actually read videos. And here we go. We have a 78 out of 100 swing score pro level analysis. This represents a highly functional control oriented golf swing. It gives us some tips on how to get better. We have a tempo ratio, shoulder rotation, hip rotation needs improvement, and X factor stretch. Here are the things we need to address. And it's saying we are kind of like John Rahm and Steve Stricker. So if you're into golf or really any sports, you can create an app that analyzes whatever you're doing, whether it's a golf swing, a tennis serve, anything. Next, we have this really simple hand tracking plus fluid dynamic simulator. Watch this. So I put my hand up, I can put my second hand up and I can move them around and it tracks it and does some cool stuff. We can also change what the actual particles are doing. So just like that, that is void singularity, it says. Here's cosmic energy, glacial shard. So I don't know, a lot of fun. All right, next we want to do an earth simulator. So check this out. 
Make a perfect 3D representation of Earth in the globe with a layer above it for atmosphere that looks like clouds that interact perfectly like clouds. Use 3JS and other packages to make it look perfect. Add a bunch of sliders that can change the weather. Add an AI enabled prompt window that allows you to prompt like natural disasters. Have a timeline along the bottom that can speed things up and so on. So let's give it a try. And here it is. Look at that. Pretty good can rotate it around. We can see the moon right there. Here we can change the sun position. Here we can change the CO2 levels, the clouds, the temperature, and we have different layers. So there's the temperature, the weather, and satellites. And all of the satellite paths are calculated and it looks really cool. Next, we have a dot matrix image converter thing. And I don't even know how to describe this, but it's really cool. Check this out. So I uploaded this image that I took around the Bay Area and it converted it into a dot matrix that we can do some cool stuff with. So check this out. So if we actually play the timeline, look at that. We can actually rip apart the image into all of the different dots from the image. Look how cool that looks. And then they're just all floating. We can also do it in different ways. So here's a pull effect instead. We could put it back together, of course. We can change the effects. Hey, that's called data glitch. Let's do event horizon. And all of this is calculated in the browser. Here's quantum. So cool. Helix. Implosion. And we can reconstruct it as well. So let's play. Boom. And then let's replay it one more time just to show you. And so, yeah, I think this is awesome as well. And check this out. We have a custom Monopoly board generator. This is a fully playable game in which you can describe the theme of the Monopoly board. Now in this one, I did Donkey Kong. Again, it's not always perfect, but if you continued working on this, if you continued building it, it could be really cool. But watch this for now. So we have the board, we have each of the pieces which are Donkey Kong themed. Here's Donkey Kong Express, the trains, Donkey Kong Sky Rail. We have all the prices, dice roll. You can even have AI opponents in which you can chat and negotiate. You could say, okay, I'll let you go if you land on my property next time and not have you pay me and you do the same. You could do stuff like that. You can trade with them. It's pretty cool. So here are the different pieces that we can move. We can buy and end the turn. And so now all the other AI is moving. They're buying. We can see them moving around the board right there. And yeah, I mean, this is just incredible. And so that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.